Choosing your major can be a big decision. Learn from our professors what program might be right for you. Welcome to Major Mindset. Hello folks, my name is Andrew Testa and I am chair of the visual arts program at Grenfell Campus. I'm a faculty member in printmaking in our program. And today I wanna to talk to you about the uh, Bachelor of Fine Arts program in visual arts. So the first thing to know is to apply to our program, you need to submit a portfolio and a letter of interest uh, along with your general application to Grenfell. Um, if you're interested in submitting a portfolio and statement, uh, feel free to reach out to me. My email address is provided here and we can talk more about the specifics of what a portfolio and a statement would entail. Once you get into the program, we have a number of courses that you're going to take at the, in the visual arts uh, areas that will be uh, along the lines of studio courses, as well as art history and visual culture courses. So that will make up the majority of your degree, where you'll kind of be going through various levels at the first, second, third, and fourth year levels, uh, looking into kind of studio courses, as well as that art history and visual culture. Alongside those courses, you're going to be taking electives, two of which are going to be English, and then there will be an additional six electives of your choice. So if you are coming into this program as an undeclared major, you might already be starting to look into kind of what those electives might be. And also we do have uh, courses offered for non-majors, uh, which you might want to take coming in before even applying to this program, such as our BART 1000 and BART 1001. One of the really cool things about our program is in your fourth year of study, you actually get to show uh, your work at the Grenfell Art Gallery. And the Grenfell Art Gallery is a provincially recognized gallery. So to be able to show at that caliber, work with the curator, and, uh, show alongside your peers is just a really incredible experience to have. Um, and that's something that I find is really different and kind of unique to our program across all programs uh, in Canada at large. Um, finally, when you're coming out of this program, you come out um, with so many various skill sets when it comes to kind of the practical applications of uh, studio art making, um, as well as kind of the critical uh, ways of thinking through what it means to create art and what it means to participate in an art historical manner, as well as in a practicing manner. Uh, but one of the most important skills that you develop is uh, a creative problem solving, which allows you to be incredibly adaptable to many different industries, whether that means becoming an artist, uh, a curator, a art teacher at the high school level or an elementary school teacher, going on to do your master's degree to become a pr professor uh, like I am. Uh, you can go into graphic design, you can go into um, arts administration. Uh, there are so many different things that people do with an arts degree and sometimes it's not even art related. Sometimes they use this as a foundation to go on and study medicine or study law. And again, because of that creative problem solving, because of the ability to kind of speak about your work and speak through ideas that are really complex, uh, you become incredibly adaptable to so many different industries uh, coming out of this program. So if you want to talk more about uh, the visual arts, uh, feel free to reach out to me and I would love to meet you.